Senator, do you have time for three questions? Yes, I do. Well, it does, for 72 hours, a person can be kept off of the list and then the Attorney General has to weigh in. That's what we call due process. It encompasses a much larger number of individuals on the no-fly list that would be uh, subject to this law. And uh, frankly, I think it protects our constitutional uh, requirements that we give every person who is an American citizen a, 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 the right of due process. The President uh, has said that he was going to use a pen and a phone and he was going to disregard uh, the constitutional requirements of abiding by laws. He was clearly in violation of existing law by acting by executive order and the court, uh, I think very appropriately, slapped him down. This president violates the Constitution as far as the separation of powers is concerned more than any president in my lifetime. One of my most memorable experiences was going into Syria with uh, the general who was at that time in charge of the Free Syrian Army. Inside Syria, I met with a group of fighters, of their leaders, of their battalions, uh, who were brave, brave people who were fighting against Bashar Assad, and many of them lost their lives in that conflict. To this day, I'm deeply moved by their patriotism and sacrifice.